Hi, I'm Jeff. And I'm Ryan. And we are the Unpredictable Weather Guys. Today we're sitting out here with something that we're all very excited about. This is our new professional weather center and uh, we've done some really great things with this one and uh, we just we want to kind of tout all of its awesome features. So the first thing we got going on here it's the all-in-one sensor. So this sensor gives you uh, it's five things in one. It's temperature, humidity, wind speed, wind direction, and rainfall. Uh, some of the other nice things about this guy it's got a little level in it for, for easy mounting, so you can make sure it's nice and level, which is important for uh, when you're doing rainfall measurement and that type of stuff. And it's got this uh, the solar panel on it. Now this doesn't power the unit, but what it does, it does power a little fan in there, which pulls air through the unit and makes it so that the uh, the temperature and uh, humidity measurements are as precise as they can be in a in a in a sensor package that's yeah. out in the sun, where it's going to be um, gives you a nice ambient air. Gives you the ambient yeah. air temperature, and then on the display, uh, the display uh, gives you the uh, capability of being battery powered, um, or it can be powered with the AC adapter, which is included, and it's got a nice blue backlight, which is kind of hard to see out here in the sun, and then there's a there's just a there's a boatload of features here, right? Oh yeah. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what's on the display? Sure. Um, right up top, we have our, our kind of often glanced at information, and, and it's a little bigger. You got your wind speed peak over on the left, and your wind speed average, and then right in the middle, you got your rosette that gives you your wind speed and your direction. Uh, it gives you your current wind speed, and it also this is a really cool feature. It gives you your last two wind direction readings because a lot of times this wind speed, this wind direction vein thing will wag around a little and, and you don't really get a good idea of what the actual direction is especially if it's really windy out which is when you're going to want to see it right so this is kind of giving you the ability to kind of say okay it's kind of going northeast yeah yeah okay. it gives, at a glance really tells you where the where the direction and these is are showing from. where the wind is coming from not where Correct. it's going to a lot of people will think that's pointing the direction the wind's going but it's the exact opposite exactly it tells you where the wind's coming out of okay and then over on the right we have our outdoor temperature and outdoor humidity and uh, trend arrows associated with that to tell you whether it's rising, steady, or falling. You said weather. <laughs> yes, I did. And then over on the right below that, we have our rainfall window, which will give you your event total, which is, you know, a lot of times you'll have a 24-hour rain display or something, and that doesn't always really tell the story because sometimes you'll have storms that come in overnight, and, and, and this will give you an idea of what, this last rain event that came through because it might last for a day or two exactly. days it's just could rain or an and hour, rain and rain you know? yeah. so yep. it doesn't stop when there's just a little gap in the rain it really gives you an idea of how much rain you got in that during that event um, and then you have a total below that for the month and an all-time running total for your rainfall so that would be like how much rain it rained since i since you, it up. since you hooked it up and yep. plugged it in yeah and uh, in the middle you have your pressure barometric pressure along with just a plain text readout of whether it's rising, steady, or falling. And next to that you have our uh, patented uh, forecast with the 14-day learning mode. And that'll give you a good idea of, of the, the weather for the next 12 to 24 hours. It pays attention to uh, pressure rising and falling in your area and really figures it out over a 14-day period. And actually, it's kind of constantly learning, but that first initial period is really important. And then uh, over on the left, we have what we call the weather select display. And there's a button here. Yep, there's a little button, and you can kind of select what thing you want to, what, what weather information you want to see in, in that window. So this is heat you, index. I can go to dew point. Yeah, dew point, wind chill. Wind chill. Okay. So you know, indoor, rain, indoor, indoor rainfall, and rainfall rate. Indoor rainfall rate, which that's, is pretty cool. That's inches per hour. Yes, correct. Okay. Inches per hour. And then, uh, of course, you have your, your clock and your date information, which. Uh, really drives the history functions because I'll get to that in a minute. Um, and then in the middle you have your weather category select area and as you go through there you're allowed to set your alarms for low and high for some categories and some, some categories are, are only one or the other based on their type of information they display. Okay. And then you have your records over to the right for that particularly selected display area. So it's set for dew point right now, so it's telling us the history of that. Correct. But I can select different here, and it says wind chill, and it gives us a history on wind right. chill. And it'll give you your today's low and high, and also if you hit this button, it gives you your all time Oh, and it changes low, the date. And it tells you when that record was set, at what time and what date. Hit it again, and you'll get your record and when that was set so it's 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 pretty cool and then um, 
below that we have a uh, area that uh, I really like and I think is really neat. It's the uh, weather ticker display. And as you can see, there's some text ticking across. And um, what that'll do is it'll really bring all the interesting information from your backyard, weather information, and display it right there. So it'll give you kind of interesting records, uh, you know, this week's highest wind speed record, this week's wind average, your moon phase. It'll do a plain text readout of your forecast. That's for also where it tells hours. you the feels like temperature, which yes, is which is really cool. A, a accumulation of temperature, humidity, and wind speed mm -hmm. to give you what it actually feel like if you walked outside and uh, what the apparent temperature is. Yes, and it, it really just gives you lots of neat stuff that's that's really relevant to the current or changing conditions in your own backyard. In your own backyard, so it's. Uh, it's pretty neat and you can also customize this if you don't want to know the moon phase you don't want to see those things ticking across you can actually remove them from the screen and add them in at any time of course so again. you can just slide, slide through and select which things you want to see exactly. information on you yeah. want the records you want the if you, you want to know the storm in warnings in coming or, or that whatever, kind of stuff yeah. yeah and that's another interesting thing about the alarms is that allows you to set alarms for a lot of these functions um, a low and high alarm which is, which is pretty useful for if you have something really particular that you're looking at. You want to know when it's windy enough to go fly a kite. So you can, you can set the wind and wind speed and it'll beep and alert you to it's when that temperature miles an hour and met. And the storm alarm, which will give you the uh, rapid pressure drop, this will go off and that's when you'll know that a storm's coming in. And to activate that, you just uh, turn it on and off yep. right there. It's very simple. Uh, another thing you can do with this is, um, you know, there's a lot, it is a professional weather center and you can actually go ahead and calibrate these temperature humidity and indoor temperature humidity if, if, if for some reason in your area it's off a little bit so it's um so i'm i'm reading 65 but the the airport's saying it's 64 and i say well you know what i i want to stay kind of in line with what they're right. showing i can adjust that one degree and, yes. and then be i'll be synced up with what they're doing yep another thing i like about the uh the outdoor unit is the uh has the removable debris screen and you know pops out of there but yeah and keeps all the in, keeps all the seats so it doesn't and stuff get blown, from blown away yeah it stays in there nice and then for mounting you know it's, it comes with this uh, mounting bracket lets you uh, put it anywhere you want to put it you can mount it on a post on the side or on the bottom or it's uh, set up for a three-quarter inch schedule 40 pipe mm -hmm. so you can just put it on a piece of pipe if you got a PVC a, or metal we recommend PVC due to lightning issues but yeah <laughs> you yeah, know. you don't want to get hit by lightning. No, that's a bad thing. Interfere with its operation a little bit, possibly. All right, well, that's the uh, Professional Weather Center, and uh, we wanted to share this with you. We're all very excited about this uh, here at uh, Accurite, and uh, uh, rush out and grab one. They're uh, available in many places. Yeah, it really gives you everything you need for the professional, all yeah. the information, no frills. It's the, it's the really good stuff. Yeah, it's the, exactly. It's the good stuff that you want. Meat and potatoes of weather. <laughs>